Hello from my living room to yours. I'm Kristen Brogdon, Northrop's Director of Programming. Tonight would have been the final performance on our Northrop Presents Dance Season, featuring State Ballet of Georgia, as well as the wrap-up of my first season in Northrop. We really wish we could be together in person, but instead we have a video for you, featuring a greeting from Nina Ananya Shabili, the Artistic Director of State Ballet of Georgia, as well as a message and a video from Mila Vocal Ensemble, who would have greeted you with Georgian music as you entered Northrop's Memorial Hall. Thanks to our partners at the Museum of Russian Art, to the Minnesota State Arts Board, and to all of you who are patrons, audience, and community members who support us at Northrop every day. I hope you're staying well, staying home, and we'll see you again as soon as it's safe. Thanks and enjoy the video. Hello, I'm Nina Ananiashvili, former Bolshoi's and ABT's ballerina. Today I'm directing State Ballet of Georgia in the BBC, a State Ballet School. Of course, we're in a difficult situation because everything is closed. We cannot rehearse normal and we don't perform. It was so sad our premiere of Medea, New Ballet, choreographed by Yuri Posokov, is cancelled in the March because of this terrible situation. We are so upset our tour in America is cancelled. But at the same time, we are happy because we come back next year. An audience in the United States, absolutely fantastic, always very warm. I would love to introduce State Ballet of Georgia to the United States again. Please, be healthy and we will see you very soon. Hi, my name is Jessica Abasio and I'm the music librarian with the University of Minnesota Libraries. Welcome to our first ever virtual pop-up library, a new project to share university libraries resources that will help you to learn more about the context of the performances presented at Northrop. The University Libraries includes 12 locations across the Twin Cities and St. Paul campuses, and we offer specialized materials and services for all disciplines, ranging from the arts to the sciences. Our collections of over 7.7 .7 million items include everything from materials you can check out and take home to rare and unique archival treasures. Our past University Libraries pop-up library events at Northrop have featured books, maps, scores, recordings, and other materials that have connections to the content presented on Northrop stages. From photographs of jewelry that inspired the choreography for George Balanchine's jewels, to maps of Liverpool showing the locations of the Beatles' childhood homes that complemented the Mark Morris Dance Group's performance of Pepperland, our librarians have shared materials selected to help visitors dive deeper into the history behind the art. This virtual pop-up library provides a glimpse into the background of the music and choreography presented by the State Ballet of Georgia. Some of the materials are freely available and others require a University of Minnesota login but all will provide a window into history and culture. You can explore historic maps of the places where this music and dance were born, recordings of the soundtracks to this ballet, and films and images that document the costumes and choreography. We invite you to delve into these materials to learn more about the history of this choreography and music, and we look forward to returning to Northrop to present future pop-up library events. If things had been different, we would all be going to Northrop today to watch the State Ballet of Georgia give a dazzling performance, and Mila Vocal Ensemble would have been there too. Mila Vocal Ensemble is based in St. Paul, and we love to sing music from all over Eastern Europe and the Balkans. But we were especially excited to share the music of Georgia. And when I say Georgia, I'm talking about the Republic of Georgia, not Dixieland. We had the opportunity to go there in 2019 we were taught by experts in Signaghi and Svanetti. We learned new songs. We also went horseback riding in the Caucasus Mountains. And we participated in the excellent Georgian tradition of Supra. A Supra is a grand dinner with glass after glass of wine as you give toast after toast over delicious food. 
And of course, the most important part is that everyone sings. We can't be with you right now. Instead, we're going to share a video clip of our time in Georgia. You'll see some uh, evidence of a supra that we were very excited to participate in. And you'll hear us sing a song called Skhenos Nuri, about riding your horse all the way to Tbilisi. I'm going to pretend that I'm there with all of you in a kind of social distance supra. Until we can perform live for you again, stay inside, stay safe. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah.